going to do the rotators now, all right? So if I want to stretch my internal rotators, I need to put the arm into what? Exactly. So thinking about your shoulder position and how your patient, you know, may not be able to tolerate that 90 degrees of abduction, I might have to start a little bit less, okay? Ultimately, I want to get my patient into that, you know, prime position. I'm just going to get you to move that for me. Of the 90-90, but sometimes they can't tolerate that immediately, and so I have to start 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and your textbook talks about that. So, up for me just a little bit. If you're a patient, just like in that apprehension test to where they're afraid of any anterior instability, you know, I want to have my arm here to be able to give a little bit of stabilization on her anterior shoulder, okay? And so I just cradle my arm right underneath of hers, and then I'm going to bring her into her motion. Normal is 90 degrees, reminding her to breathe. I'm feeling a little resistance right there, and so then I can hold that position. See how I'm trying to keep my thumb from not grasping her wrist like this? Just right at the side. 